Hello, this tutorial is going to walk you through the exercise for 7.4, which is text files and output. In the last video, we learned how to read in from a file. Now we are going to write to a file. So if you look at the um, slideshow, um, it's going to summarize these concepts right here. And that is whenever you're working with a file, you always open the file, you process the data, and then you close the file. In this example, because we are writing to a file, we're going to send data to the file. The key piece of code is right here. And remember, we're going to be able to copy this piece of code over and use it on the um, exercise. Um, but you're going to need to make sure that you have the name of the file and it has to be exact with the extension .txt is a text file extension and the W means we're going to write to a file. In this case it is being controlled with a while loop. Remember that while loops are most often used with files because we never know when the file is going to end for sure. It's what we call an indefinite loop and so the while loop is the most appropriate choice. Okay and so if we take a look at the exercise, and I have not completed this exercise, so you're going to get to see me um, complete it just like you would, starting from scratch. We are going to write a program to input 10 book titles and author's names and then save them to a file called books.txt. For each book, the user will input the title, then input the first name, and then the last name of the idol, um, excuse me, author on separate lines. In addition, the, um, to saving the books, uh, they're going to use the print method. And then we should follow the format, uppercase title, tab, capitalized last name, comma, single space, capitalized first name. And here is an example of what the output will be. So the name of the book is all capitalized, last name, comma, space, first name. Remember that we're going to be working in Replit. So we're going to open that up and start thinking about how we are going to uh, create this file. So we really kind of have two things, well, several things to do. Um, they have already set up our file path to be books.txt, and then we have the output file um, opening for writing. So then the first thing that we have to do, remember we have to have three inputs, and then um, um, the overall directions are that we are going to um, be writing, um, you know, we are creating a book library or creating a library. So it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a prompt at the beginning. And when I create the library, um, in this particular um, instance, the online example had us do a while loop to stop. Um, and that's when we use an indefinite loop, but they told us we were going to do 10 books. Since I know that there's 10 books, I can use a for loop. I am going to make my example not run maybe quite as long, meaning I'm only going to use a couple of books. And honestly, for this exercise, you guys don't need to do 10 books. You could do fewer books because 10 books is quite a bit right now. Um, and then we need to input. So we need the title of the book and we're just going to input it and I'm doing like a bare bones kind of a um, prompting here in order to kind of move this along. I also need the author's uh, first name and we're going to use an input for that. And then we need the author's last name. And we're going to use an input for that. So we are now getting all of our data entered. There is some special formatting that I wanted, they want us to do with the title. Remember that the title is to be all uppercase. There's a couple different ways I can handle this. I kind of like to say title equals then title dot upper. So what that's going to do is reassign the um, title all uppercase. And then I'm going to start my, I want to think about this as a, um, I'm going to concatenate together. I'm going to create um, a new book and my new book. Now I have to be real careful here and I'm going to pause for just a second just to talk about um, this, these lines that I copied in and I just keep pushing down. The, um, the We already have the open statement right up here so I don't need an open statement so I can delete that line. And then we were using a while loop in the textbook example, but because we, we don't need the while loop here because we know exactly how many books we have, I am going to get rid of that information. We are going to use this out 
dot file out file because we created an out file and that can be named anything we're just creating it as an output so we typically name it as an out file we are going to write what we are going to write to the file is going to be our new book and then here this was another input statement because we were going to be using the while loop so we don't need that so that can be uh, deleted and we should be and then if we just want to double check what is actually being written a lot of times we echo this is called an echo to the screen the uh, new book and we don't have to put the slash n when we use the print statement because remember the print statement automatically has this uh, carriage return or new line character at the end so really all we need to figure out is how are we going to create that new book well they had very specific directions on creating that new book right here are those directions I'm just going to copy that over so I have it to look at while I work through this put it on a comment line and so it wants us to have the uppercase title first so my new book and I think I overwrote some of my line there but that's okay my new book is going to be equal to the title I have already made it uppercase and so um, I don't have to make it upper because I already did that you could choose to just do title dot upper right here and Python actually lends itself to um, using those methods in line is what we call when we do that um, but because I made it uppercase before this I'm going to just going to do title I need to literally add in this is called concatenation a tab so that's a forward slash T and then I need to add in the last name and it's going to be followed by um, okay I have to be I cannot use quotes here because I want the variable to print but I do want quotes for the comma and the space and then I need to add in the first name I have not taken care of the capital letter yet and in order to capitalize there is a method for capitalizing which is just dot capitalize so I'm going to capitalize and what that does is it capitalizes the first name excuse me the first letter and then I think that's almost it I do have to remember um, well I want a um, new line but I've already put my new line here so I could either uh, put the new line at the end of this concatenation or I can put it um, down here I think this should take care of it so if I run my code okay I'm looking at running my code and um, entering a couple of books and so let's see what have I read lately let me try to run this and enter a couple of books Before I can enter my books, I need to fix my errors. So this is for I in range. Let's see if that works. Not quite. 
we have when we do the output file. What kind of error message am I missing here? It does not like um, indentation. So um, actually, yeah, I need to have that inside that while loop. That was not the error. I think it's this parentheses right here. You guys probably already saw that. It is not liking something here. Why does it not like that indentation? This is Python. These are the same types of errors that you guys probably run into. Yay! Okay. One of the books that we are, these are books that are on my list to read, actually. The title is Code Girls, and the first name of the author is Liza, and the second one is Mundy. And then the next title is going to be a book called The Code Breakers. I like history, and this one is by David Kahn. He actually has some decent books. And that should be our books. It printed the code breakers, which would be the last one. So actually this print statement, if I wanted to see all the books that I printed, would have to be inside the loop. More importantly, I want to go and see if both of those books wrote to my text file. So if I open up my text file, they wrote, I got capitalized, and I got my last name, first name. And so I'm not so worried about this print statement because I can go back and fix that pretty quick and put that print statement inside the for loop so I can see what I was actually printing with everything. And then we should be good if I were to run that again. So that's your walkthrough on, this is exercise 7.4, exercise 1, and we were practicing writing to a file. You want to clean up your code a little bit, and don't forget that at the top of your code, you do want to put in the comments that are going to give me your name, your date, and what exercise it was, and etc. If you want to do a multi-line comment, remember you can do the three tick marks. So your name, date, exercise, and a short description. Okay.